हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू दैट टॉपिक एलवी बाय सीएल अंडरस्कोर एस ए एल वी अंडरस्कोर टेबल क्लास एंड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी क्रिएटेड अवर ओन जीयूआई स्टेटस वी क्रिएटेड द बटन इन द एप्लीकेशन टूल बार वी प्रोवाइडेड द टाइटल बार एंड व्हाई वी आर गोइंग फॉर दिस because sap buttons will not work automatically yes because this is our own screen if you want sap buttons to work directly you have to write the logic in pa i there is no need for pbo why we covered pbo also because we are going for our own gui status also we are going for our own functions so for that i have written the logic in the ppo now whenever i will click on to this button which event will trigger pai will trigger process after input and in pai i will write the logic to go back to the selection screen or input screen so what i will do i will go to the program and i will uncomment pai module this is our program i will go to screen 100 and uncomment the pai module this is our screen 100 i will uncomment pai module i will create this module yes i want to create this module i will go for new include yes i want to save now here i will write the logic to go back to the previous stacked screen now what is the function code we gave to the button if you remember we gave the function code to the button as cancel as of now we have only one functionality so whenever i will click on to that cancel button pai will trigger and it will take us back to the previous tag screen means selection screen or input screen if you have multiple buttons you all know every button has a function code then you need to write the logic based upon the variable where based upon the value of psi you com you all know system variable for user command always capture the value of function code as of now we have only one functionality so if you are writing based upon psi you com or not will not make any difference because that logic will always always execute but if you have multiple functions you need to divide the logic based upon the psi u com suppose i will write based upon psi u com i am writing if psi u com is equal to cancel this is our function code of the button when we create it and if and whenever user will click on to that cancel button we want to go back to the previous stacked screen and we already covered what is the statement sap provided that is leave to screen 0 leave to screen 0 will take us back to the previous stacked screen i will activate i will activate all the parts and same thing i explained when i covered the alv by clgy alv grid class and why i am explaining here because people are directly coming on to cl salv table they are not going for clgy alv grid so same thing needs to cover here also because they are saying back button is not working now what i will do i will put a break point i will put a break point in pbo i will put a break point in pai also so that you will understand fully how how we are going back okay the break point is in pai box 
I will run this program. Now I am on thousand screen as of now. That is my selection screen or input screen. From the selection screen or input screen, I am going to hundred screen by using which syntax? Call screen screen number. It means thousand will be as it is. Hundred will add on top of that. If I will show you the stack in desktop too, you can see we have thousand screen and on top of that we have hundred screen. Thousand is as it is. So this logic will execute. It will create GUI status button in the application toolbar and we have the title bar. And you can see we have the title bar. We have the button in the application toolbar. Whenever I will click here, which event will trigger PAI. Now PAI event triggered. I will go to desktop. Now, what is the value of psi u com? It is cancel, cancel. It captured the value of function code of the button and we gave the function code of the button as cancel. So this if condition, true. Now just see the stack as of now. We have 100 screen, we have 1000 screen. Now we are writing leave to screen zero. So it will take us back to the previous stack, stack. It is written stack and we want to go back to which screen? Thousand screen. So whenever I will do F6, you can see I'm on selection screen or input screen. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I have written the logic in the PAI process after input of screen 100. I have written the logic based upon psi ucom, but as of now, we have only one single button, one single function. So if you are not writing this if statement, still it will work. But if you have multiple functions, you need to divide the logic based upon the value of psi ucom. And then I explained in that debugging mode, firstly PBO called, we got the title bar, GUI status. Yes, we button in the application toolbar. When we clicked on to the button, PAI called 1000 screen on top of that 100 screen is there in the stack because we used the syntax call screen screen number. Now we have written leave to screen zero. Whenever we are going for leave to screen zero, it is taking us back to the selection screen or input screen. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.